There are lots of players going into their second and third seasons in the NFL that have the potential to become stars and big pieces on winning teams. Today, I'm going to go over five players I think will break out in the 2020 NFL season. The first player I would like to talk about is Denver Broncos wide receiver Cortland Sutton. Cortland Sutton will be hanging into his third season in 2020 and made his first Pro Bowl appearance in 2019. Sutton put up career highs in 2019 in every statistical category. He put up 1,100 yards, 6 touchdowns on 72 catches with a 58.1% catch rate on 15.4 yards per catch. He also had a pass in Week 10 versus Minnesota Vikings of 38 yards and no fan. Sutton will be playing in a new look, very exciting looking offense with sophomore Drew Locke throwing him the ball and two rookie wide receivers lined up alongside of him in Jerry Judy and KJ Homer. He also has two stars in the backfield in Melvin Gordon and Philip Lindsay. Sutton, in my personal opinion, will be known as the top 10 receiver in 2020 and will take over the league this season. The next player I want to talk about is wide receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs, McCall Hardman. Hanging into his second season, McColl will look to be more involved in one of the best offenses in the NFL. In 2019, Hardman racked up 538 yards, 6 touchdowns on 26 catches with an incredible 20.7 yards per catch. He was very inconsistent over the course of 2019, where he had 7 games with 1 or less catches, but he also had 5 games with over 50 yards. I see him being more of a home run hair type player as he had 4 catches for over 45 yards and an 83 yard catch against Baltimore Ravens in week 3. Coming off his Super Bowl season, I think he can go from anywhere from 700 yards to 900 yards and 8 to 10 touchdowns and be a huge shark for Patrick Mahomes in 2020. I already have a video on how this next player can help the Denver Broncos make the playoffs this season, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But the next player I want to talk about is Drew Locke. After missing the first 11 games being on IR in 2019, Drew Locke put up 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns, and just 3 interceptions in 5 games. In those 5 games, the Denver Broncos have a 4-1 record. The Broncos then went out in the 2020 offseason to get Locke more help. They signed right guard Graham Glasnow to a three-year $30 million deal and star running back Melvin Gordon III to a two-year $16 million deal to pair up with Phil Lindsay in the backfield. In the 2020 NFL Draft, the Broncos then went out and drafted Jerry Judy, wide receiver out of Alabama in the first round, and wide receiver KJ Homer out of Penn State in the second round. In 2020, Drew Locke would be in the perfect position to break out. I can see him thrown from anywhere from 3,500 yards to 4,000 yards and 30 touchdowns to 35 touchdowns. In 2019, Miles Sanders played a key role in getting the Eagles to the postseason. For the year, he put up 1,300 total yards, 6 total touchdowns on 4.6 yards per carry, and he also pulled in 50 receptions. If it wasn't for his lack of carries in the first 8 weeks of 2019, I think he could have made a run at the Offensive Rookie of the Year award. And with Philly still lacking receiving threats, I could see him getting much more carries this year and having a huge season. The next player I would like to talk about is Daniel Jones. After being picked 6 overall in the 2019 NFL Draft, the New York Giants were heavily criticized since a lot of people did not think he was first round worthy. He definitely proved Craig strong with a great rookie season though. In 2019, Jones threw for 3,027 yards, 24 touchdowns, and just 12 interceptions on a 61.9% completion percentage. He was also only two touchdowns short from tying Baker Mayfield's rookie touchdown record set in 2018 with one less start than Mayfield. He also did all of this with Sterling Shepard missing six games, Golden Tate missing five games, Evan Ingram missing eight games, and Saquon Barkley missing three games. He did this with 23rd ranked offensive line where he got sacked 38 times and got pressured off the edge 97 times. In 2020, the New York Giants drafted Andrew Thomas with the fourth overall pick to help him. If this offense can stay healthy and support him in 2020, I can see Jones going for 4,000 yards and 30 touchdowns.